In my direction, attack! Something you need? They were in the mood to threaten, but not fully in the mood to start a fight. I think they were expecting me to drop the coin and leave quickly, which just goes to show you they don't know me too well. It's a shame they didn't keep it a friendly fight. Some people have no stomach for using their fists when they have a weapon at hand. Eager to fight? Well, I suppose I am, if you can call it that. I mean, it's all in good fun. Some take pride in craftsmanship, or in hunting, or in haggling for the best price on a blade or other piece of steel. Me? Talking with my fists is my art form. Every tavern's an opportunity, I say. There's usually someone who could take a few punches to the gut and groin before they start weeping like a child. Well, I don't know. I enjoyed, I guess. 
It's a mark of pride to be able to stand tall and take every punch, then give it right back until I'm the only one standing. Most of the time, only beaten really bad once, but I learned from it, and I'm determined not to let it happen again. Thing is, I'm glad it happened. It was my destiny. Well, you see, I used to win, almost undefeated. But there was this time in a tavern far from here that I chose a fight that ended up choosing me. It was fate, I tell you. Well, it wasn't much of a fight. You see, there were these skinny robed humans, barely twigs, that were sitting at the bar when one of our competitions broke out. There were chairs getting smashed, people screaming, tankards being used as clubs. Ah, glorious. Well, everyone was having a good time when I noticed those skinny humans were just sitting there, not even having the decency to pay attention. Just nursing waters. Waters! So I asked them, well, shouted really, what in the hell they thought they were doing? Ignoring the fine entertainment and then insulting the establishment by not having ale? And maybe I shoved one of them a bit or tried to break a chair over their skulls since they were making a point of pretending they didn't hear me. <laughs> Rude, I tell you. Ah, well, they used me as a bar rag first, and not a single punch I threw even hit them. Oh, they were moving too fast, and plus, I, I think I was seeing double or triple. Ugh, after they smashed my face into the bar a few times, uh, they showed me the floor up close. <laughs> the floor was pretty dirty by that point, by the way. Then, as the final blow, they sent me flying like a drunk hippogriff out the window. <laughs> Magical it was. So, after I woke up and wiped the blood out of my eyes, and finally found all my teeth, I went back in and thanked them. Best beating I've ever received. They seemed a little taken aback by my friendliness, and it turns out they were part of some order. Son something or other, and, and, and get this, they devoted their lives to fighting with their fists. Can you imagine? Lifetime devotion to brawling. It's their lives, their craft. They're monks, eh? Crazy water-drinking fools. <laughs> Hope drinking water isn't what makes them fight like that. Anyway, that life sounded like destiny to me. I mean, those skinny excuses for humans were good. And then they spent their whole lives kicking the hell out of others, training for it. That's when I knew that's what I wanted to do with my life. My purpose was clear. Huh? Of course it is. Well, as far as I could tell once my head stopped ringing. You mean like headbutting someone? I already know how to do that, though sometimes I need to grab them by the beard or collar and yank their head down so I could hit it properly. Oh, is that so? Well, I must have missed that part while they were wiping down the tavern with my face and throwing me through a window. <laughs> Shows how much you know about it. You didn't see them in action. All right, go on and ask them. It's no proper dwarf curse, that's for sure. Sounds like something they want to find pretty badly, though, whatever it is. All right, go on and ask them. No, they're strange ones to be sure, with all their hissing and spitting. Uh, they also don't seem to be ones for a stand-up brawl, always relying on ambushes and sneaking up. If they have a problem with you, I say they get all their clan together and face us at once. 
without all this chipping away at our patients. Of course, they know we'd probably send them running back to their mothers, <laughs> so chances are they're just trying to make us angry. All right, go on and ask them. Well, there's a great deal to tell, especially if we're going with clan history and our accomplishments. But chances are, and I don't blame you, you're just asking about me personally. So let me give you the short version. I've been traveling the Sword Coast for a year or two, making my trade at villages and towns, and well, making my trade at taverns as well, but you already had a taste of that at the Weeping Willow. 